Welcome back everyone to part five in this series of securing fields in ServiceNow. In this video, we're gonna take a look at access control rules. And finally, we're gonna take a look at one of the most secure ways to restrict and secure data in the platform. Why is that? Because we're finally dealing with a server side rule in ServiceNow. We're going to restrict on the server side at the database level, who has access to data in the platform. So let's take a look at some examples. Okay, so we're going to use the same example as in our previous videos where we want to hide the pin field to make that more hidden and only writable for those that have the car's admin role. So at the moment, this user can see it and also the regular user has right access to this field as well. Okay, so let me come back to ServiceNow Studio and let's take a look at the access control rules that we currently have. So at the moment, I've got a right access control rule for the entire table for the car's user role. Okay, so if you've got that role, you've got right access to all fields in that table. Now, I've gone ahead and created another access control rule, another right one for the pin field. Okay, now to have right access to this field, you need the car's admin role. So let me go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and test it. So the admin user here, if I refresh this page, there should be no change. I should be able to write to every field here on the form. If I come back to my car's user session here and refresh this page, we can see now that the pin field is read only. Now, if you recall, we were able to do that with a client script, with a UI policy. What's the difference here? Well, now there's absolutely no way known that I can change this field. Okay, not on the form, not on a list, not if I look at the source code for the page. If I come here and then come here, we can see the pin field there. And if I expand this little section here, we can see that there's a value uh, here as well. Uh, I could double click on it. I can maybe type in something else right there and hit enter. Okay, you can see the, the field value has changed there in the page. Let me close that now. And I do have the option to update this record, but let's see what happens. Okay, the change was not successful. Didn't get a message, but you can see here the pin is still 999999. Okay, so that change wasn't successful because we don't have right access to that field. Okay, and you can see here just by double clicking on that field, I'm not able to change it here either. Okay, so let's do another little test. Let's come back to my admin user here. Go back to ServiceNow Studio. I am going to open up the read access control rule that we currently have for this table. And from that, create a new access control rule, another read access control rule just for the pin field. Okay, and restrict that to the admin user. Okay, so I will come here and change that to pin. And then I'll just do an insert and stay here before I forget. In other words, create a new record. And I'm just going to replace this SNC internal role here, which is uh, the default one, because I have uh, the explicit roles plugin activated on this instance um, that differentiates between internal and external users. Then you get the internal role appearing in ACLs by default. And I'll put in here the cars admin role, just like that, and save that. All right, so now we can go ahead and test this. Okay, so if we come to our admin user and refresh the page, again, there should be no change because I've got sufficient privileges. If I come to my other user, however, if I stay in the list, I've got the pin field here. If I just refresh this list here, that pin field is gone now, okay? precisely because of that access control rule. If I open up a record here, the pin field is also gone. So it doesn't matter what client scripts or UI policies or views I've got access to, that access control rule, server-side, that will be executed, evaluated before anything else. It's a server-side rule 
again, there's no way I can get access to that field. I could try, could come here and right click and go to inspect. But we can see in the source code here in the HTML code, uh, there's no p pin uh, field here at all. Okay, even after this div here, there's nothing else after that. So in other words, that field has not been retrieved from the server because I do not have access to it. So that's the end of this little demonstration. And just to highlight, in case you didn't already know, access control rules are what you need if you want data security, if you want to secure fields in ServiceNow. Don't use client scripts. Don't use UI policies. Don't use view rules. Use them certainly for usability. Absolutely but not if you really want to guarantee security in the platform. If you want to determine who can see, who can change data in the platform, you need access control rules. Okay, so thanks for watching. In the next two videos, we're going to take a look at another couple of methods for extending the data security model. We're going to look at data anonymization in the next video. And then after that, we're going to look at column level encryption. In other words, to encrypt data for specific fields. So stay tuned for those.